Hi, I'm Lily, and this time we're going to try our hand at a bonsai video. I uh, got into bonsai a few years back. I uh, started watching different YouTubers like Nigel Saunders. I kind of got inspired, and I started this one from a seed. It's actually a navel orange from an orange that I actually ate. And I germinated the seed in the winter of 2019 into 2020. And this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to start out by getting rid of some of these decorations so we can just kind of see a little better. Plus, I don't know if I'll put this big giant mushroom one back in there or not. So we'll get this over here out of the way. Okay. Get my little rabbit and squirrel out of there. My cute little guys. And my fairy. And my big rock that when I originally planted it, this rock kept the whole thing in the pot because I kind of wanted to fall out. Now today we are not going to be repotting it. I just want to give it a nice little trim before I have to bring it in for the winter. It's uh, New York, it's starting to get a little cooler at night and pretty soon I'm going to have to bring in my oranges. I got a few others but we're only going to focus on this guy today. Alright, so if we come in closer, you can see I'm getting a lot of these guys that are just kind of coming out of the main branch, the main tree line, and they're just kind of going parallel with it. They're crossing. They, this one wants to cross over. This guy over here is just not, there's no path for it to really grow. Even this one over here will probably get dealt with today. I'll do a few other little trimming. I might have some spots I got to tie down. And overall, I think I should say the, the main look I want for this tree is I'm going to let it get a bit larger than some of the other bonsai and I want to have like kind of a semicircle on this side that comes back over and have part of the circle spill over I'm not sure if it's going to be achievable I know with a lot of citrus things you don't tend to get as many offshoot branches but this one has been giving me a lot so fingers crossed okay so we're going to come in here get our first cut and I'm going to take this guy right out right close to the right close to the trunk all right, and then I'll take all these little fellows out that are sitting in a similar path. And get this guy. Okay, and you can see if you back up again, you can see it already is kind of clearing out a good bit. This one, I don't. No, if I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take this whole one out, but it is kind of crowding out a bit. I'm just gonna clip it down here and keep a few little bits of leaves, but not have it come up here because there's nowhere for that guy to go. Okay, give it a spin. I like to really turn them a lot. This way, I can kind of see from many different angles of how it's coming along. What my main vision is. Now you see over here, I'm getting this guy. <clears throat> It's just crossing over into the other one. Again, there's no way for it. There's no room for it to really grow. It's just going to clutter up. So I'll take this guy off as well. I'm going to go right back to my secondary branch. Okay. And now we get down here. And it looks like from when it was kind of hanging over the side, the spot wanted to grow back up towards the sun. And it just curled up really sharp. I don't like the way that looks. So bye-bye to you. And that gives it a much cleaner look right there. All right, now I'll start spinning again. I'm mainly focusing on my lower ones right now and just wanna make sure that they all have space and room. I'll get a little cluttered here. There's... I think this guy's gonna go too. Okay. Now let me look at it. Oh, I've got a big branch that's crossing over. If you look, this guy here, he's just coming back, crossing over this branch underneath it. I'm not sure if you can see that. And it's just, it's just again, there's no room for it to go. You can see some of the leaves got holes poked in them. This leaf is just half stuck into one of the prickers. So I'm going to trim this guy off as well. Okay, that'll 
opens it up a lot. And then I'll continue to keep looking at it, keep spinning it. Now this tree has a unique front presentation. Because of the plan for this tree, when it's when I get it, a little bigger even now, is to be mostly indoors at least half of the year because I live in New York. I want half of it to face towards the window light. So that will be this part that balls out and that will look nice from the window. But I still want to have a peel from the other side. So I'll leave this out open and this will actually be the front from the inside. So I know it's a little weird, it's not quite traditional bonsai, not that much I got a gigantic pot. But um, I like it and I'm having fun and that's what matters. Alright, so we're going to continue. This one, I, I kind of don't mind, but it's just a little too straight. I am going to leave it, but I am going to just pinch my top up here so it doesn't continue to grow up any higher. And I probably will get it off, well, I'm hoping I'll get an offshoot or two. And I'm going to do the same with the one right next to it. Just going to a little pinch up there. It will hopefully send some of the vigor back down. It's got a good vigorous trunk back here. You can even see some of the bark is starting to get into some of these side branches. And I'm really happy with how this tree is coming out so far. If we continue, this leaf, it just kind of curls under. I don't like it. There's no real need to cut it. But at the same time, I don't have to keep it. And it has been driving me a little bonkers. So just to clean that up a little. And get into here. I'm liking what I'm seeing. This branch I do want to curl a bit more, but I'm not too concerned about it right now. As it gets a little longer, I might, I have this little trick I've actually never seen anyone else do and I might show in a future video, but I'll tie a little string and a small weight and it will kind of help. I've been doing it on some of my ficus, which I hope to show in later videos. And it just helps give these nice swooping arching branches. So. As this develops more in the future, I might uh, try to deploy that technique on this. You do have to worry if you tie the string too tight and leave it too long of getting similar marks that you would from wires. Um, getting pretty happy with this. I'm still a bit cluttered up in here. I think this is going to go, but I'm not certain yet. I just have this guy right here. And it's just, it already has an offshoot off of an offshoot. I definitely got to get rid of the one part of it, probably both parts of it. I'm just going to keep spinning and looking. Finding what looks best for my eye. And ideally, that's all that really matters is we make trees that are pretty for us. And as long as we're having fun, <laughs> that's the point. Okay, so yeah, this is just, it's just too crowded. I'm gonna have to clip it. So I'll take it all the way back to here, back to where I get, which is actually my main line trunk, and it's gonna have a bit of a swoop on the top. So, we'll clip this to just give it a little space. Now it just feels like the whole plant can breathe better. I got this one here. It's kind of doing the same thing. It's like, it's not really going anywhere. It's getting tight in here. There's not a lot of space. I have this one that comes out here. This one comes out here. Then this one and another. And it's really tight. So this guy's got to go. Okay. And I'll probably come back in in a day or two, and most of these little nubs will usually dry up, and I can just kind of come back with my finger and just, and they'll usually pop off. I think we're almost there. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this guy. I don't think I'm going to tie anything just yet. Like I said before, I'll wait for this to get a little longer, and I'll probably weigh it down. This is my main tree line. This one, I'm going to continue to develop the swoop outwards. Oh, nope, I see another offender. This guy comes out sideways. I think he will probably be the last one I cut. There's no room for it right here. So, just get in there nice and tight. Snip. Okay. And I got a, a bit of extra foliage here. Let's see if this kind of sits funny. 
Okay, let's give it another look. And I'm pretty happy with it. This is still a little tight together, but I got a feeling as it grows, they will spread out and it will help fill out this area back here. And I'm really happy with how much this tree has just sent so many different offshoots. From what I've seen, it doesn't always happen so easy with citrus. So I am going to just put my rock back. I'm going to fill in the hole from that big mushroom we had because that's not going back in there. I'm just going to lightly loosen up some of the soil because it's been in this pot since last summer. So I'm not going to repot it today, but I'm going to help aerate it a little bit. It's not packed too tight, but it just helps everything drain good. And I'm going to put this rock back in. My bench for my fairy. Set her in under this bough so she has a little shade. <laughs> and then we will stick our squirrel close to the tree back here. And her little bunny up in the front. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with this. I look forward to seeing how it develops in the future. And I am just going to let the camera come in and get a really good close up. And that will be the end of this video. I'm Lily and this is my first bonsai video. I'm still a little awkward in front of the camera, but I am having a lot of fun. This is my navel orange and I look forward to seeing you all again. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Don't go away just yet. I forgot two quick things. This chopstick was originally put in here just to help hold it up when it was falling out of the pot and it's no longer needed. It just kind of cluttered up my pretty trunk, almost ruined my video. And now, if you can come in just closer, you can just, just, I just want to get a good view of how that trunk looks now that that chopstick isn't in the way. I had uh, reviewed the video we just filmed and realized there was two things I forgot. So the first was that chopstick, and the other is, I forgot to mention, and this is something that I really should have mentioned. When you are cutting up and working on bonsai citrus, they smell amazing. This smells just like the orange I ate where I got the seed from originally. Okay, I think we're done this time. I'm Lillian, and if you watched this far all the way to the end, thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs>